Hey guys, let's go over this patterns worksheet. So first of all, you're going to be given a bunch of examples of different variables, whether they're independent variables or dependent variables. And you have to look at the two and figure out how they are related, if they are, um, if they are a direct relationship or an inverse relationship. And you're going to just type that in right here. And then you have to actually write the relationship for each one. So we always know that y is going to depend on x. So your dependent variable depends on your independent variable. Now remember your independent variable is what you can control and your dependent variable changes based on that. So I've went ahead and I've done this first example for you. Um, we know the length of the shadow depends on the height of the flagpole. Um, that's pretty simple, okay? I can't, I can't create some shadow and then poof, a flagpole is going to adjust to that shadow. No, the way it naturally works is um, if you have a 20 foot flagpole, then you're going to have a larger shadow than a 10 foot flagpole. So the height is what you can physically change, so that's your independent variable, and the length is going to um, depend on that height. So now we have to figure out is that relationship direct or inverse? Well, direct means as one increases or as your independent variable increases, your uh, dependent variable also increases, and that would be the case here, okay? The higher the flagpole, the larger the shadow. Assuming what? Assuming that the shadow is measured at the same time um, of day and under the same weather conditions for every flagpole that we are measuring for some reason. So, um, when you're looking at variables and their relationship, you need to make sure that everything else is controlled. I couldn't, for example, go to a 20-foot flagpole um, one day when it's really cloudy and measure the shadow and then go up to a 10-foot flagpole on a sunny, clear day and measure its shadow and then compare those because um, everything else wasn't controlled. But I'm going to stop mumbling and just call that direct. And you guys need to go through this entire worksheet, uh, you know, the one page, just a few examples. Now, there are a couple here that you could argue either way, um, but whatever you put down as your answer, I want you to type your explanation. And your explanation needs to be um, a correct way of thinking. Um, let's see, we can look at this one. And we can look at this one right here. Okay, argue those two. Um, so the weight of the runner and the time to run two miles and the practice time and ability to play guitar. Also, you need to choose two more sets to share with your classmates and actually um, these relationships will be part of a discussion, so you can just ignore that um, for the meantime. However, make sure you get the rest of this done, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.